I'm Dr. Barry Epley, board certified plastic surgeon of Indianapolis. And I wanted to present some of my experience utilizing custom made HTR implants for cranial reconstructive surgery. This is a technique that I have used for nearly uh, 20 years for complex and large cranial. HTR is an acronym that stands for hard tissue replacement. It has been around in the dental and dental world and used for dental socket replacement and implant reconstruction for nearly 30 years. HDR is a combination of polymethyl methacrylate and polyhydroxyethyl methacrylate, which is a very hydrophilic or water requiring material. As a result, from the dental product, it is a granular material that is very hydrophilic, which has an electrostatic charge. Uh, it has been used for a long time to fill extraction sites in preparation for implants or simply to fill small bone defects of the tooth bearing part of the jaw. As you can see here in this long term x-ray, there is excellent bony fill around the implant. HTR can be made into any shape. The beads can be sintered together to create any shape. At one point in time in the 90s there was an HTR series of facial implants. But the point is the beads can be put together and made into any shape. When you put all of these balls together, what you really end up with is a material that has true intramaterial porosity, meaning that if you were a blood vessel, you could walk in one side and walk out the other side. Uh, in 1990, I looked at this material in solid block form in an animal model to determine whether bone ingrowth actually occurred under the material, and I looked at it through a variety of sites on both the skull and the jaw. Uh, this study demonstrated through histology that bone ingrowth did, did occur into the implant, particularly where there were blood vessels coming out of the bone. Even in those parts of the implant that did not have bone ingrowth, there was extensive fibrovascular of the entire material. I will next show you a few cases. Here's an example of a 65-year-old woman that originally had a craniotomy, lost the craniotomy bone flap. This was then replaced by an acrylic liquid and powder mixture by her neurosurgeon, which subsequently became infected. This was repeated multiple times, and the implant was subsequently removed. She came to me after one year with a severe cranial defect, secondary of the bone. A 3D CT skull model was obtained which demonstrated the defect and a custom HTR implant was subsequently uh, made. In preparation for her surgery, uh, a first stage free muscular flap was placed because of her chronically infected bone. You never want to place any synthetic material into any type of re tissue recipient bed which previously has a history of infection. Then in a second stage procedure, the implant was placed as you can see here in the lower left, and then held in the position with uh, metal plates and screws. You can see that this type of preoperative preparation with a custom HTR patient-matched implant simplifies uh, the cranial reconstructive process uh, considerably. And here she is at three years post-op, and she is now 15 years post-op with complete resolution of her symptoms, and she has never had problems since. Another case example shows this young man who has fibrous dysplasia involving his right forehead and eye. This was going to require a large resection, leaving a large frontal orbital defect. In this case, a custom-made uh, skull model was obtained, and the planned amount of resection was then initially Based on this amount of resection, uh, HDR implant was uh, fabricated so that the resection as you can see here in the top portion of the pictures was done and then this was replaced immediately after the resection uh, with the HDR PMI implant. In this case this was held in with resorbable and screws. Uh, this completely resolved his headaches, put his fibrous dysplasia growth into cessation and he, and he had uh, excellent restoration of his forehead and supraorbital symmetry. So these are some uh, examples of HDR PMI, otherwise known as hard tissue replacement, patient matched implants 
for cranial reconstruction.